Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Fate games for the Sony PSP. So, Fate Extra looks like a nightmare to many gamers. First off, it's a visual novel, which means that if you don't like reading, and especially reading a lot in a video game, then this game, okay maybe game is too much, is not for you. It's a visual novel. You read and read and read and you get some gameplay to it. A supercomputer forgotten on the moon started a tournament and you are obliged to participate. The game is a dungeon crawler with a turn based combat. And it's on the weaker side of the genre, in my opinion. You can explore 14 maze like levels that are pretty simple in layout. You get to plow through lots of small fry and you get many fetch quests. And the combat lacks depth too, it usually revolves around memorizing the pattern of your enemies. And since you battle the same small fry till you can't no more, memorizing patterns will be easy and annoying. Occasionally you get boss battles, but overall this game is only for those eagerly wanting to play some dungeon crawling turn based visual novel or are fan of the series. And Fate Extra CCC is the very same game in gameplay, but this time it presents the events in another fashion. CCC is an alternate route of the previous game. So if you liked the first game you can try this one out too and see how things developed if the characters acted in other ways. Oh and by the way, it's not the same game. It just has a very similar gameplay formula to the previous one, because in story it is different. Overall, I consider the games appealing mostly to fans of the anime, and to people who like visual novels, but if you've never watched the anime and don't like turn-based combat, this game is not for you, you most probably won't like the game. Fate Tiger Colosseum is a fighting game, and from here the video is self-explanatory. You, you can see what the game is and how it behaves. You have a light attack button, a special attack button that uses magic, you get a story mode, and lots of stuff to unlock. From characters to arts to new music, there are 23 characters in the game, and if the game looks appealing to you, and or other fan of the anime, go for it. Fate Unlimited Codes is a one-on-one -on -one fighter, and it's amazing. I'm not a fan of the Fate series, and still like this game, and consider it amazing. The combat is similar to Naruto on PSP, meaning that you can normal attack and special attack. You get a lot of well-written story with the game, I mean, you get dialogue parts before and after each fight, and the story is in my opinion well written. It has dramatic moments, funny moments, epic moments, the game has 18 playable characters, and overall, it's a game I recommend you play. I think this one is a game almost anyone who likes fighting games would like. I mean, the fighting part in this fighter is really well done, with easy controls and epic moves. And the story hooks you, even if you never watched a Fate anime before. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.